special deal highlighting what has been an already uh, record year for M&A. Joining us right now is CLS Holdings CEO David Puth. David, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Maria, thank you for being here. Your take on this huge deal that could actually happen in the next couple of days. Well, I think you, the, the country has not been able to find growth by any other means other than mergers this year. Mm -hmm. And so you can cut costs or you can merge. But and in this case, we're seeing what looks like a, a really great deal for both companies. Yeah, we said it was forced earlier, though, because of the industrial recession. Keith. Yeah, the industrial recession, I'm interested in your thoughts on the pricing component or what we affectionately call the deflation of it all. You know, how do you think about the correlation risk in the market versus the tail wagging the dog? Is it demand? Is it correlation? Is it both? Well, I, I think it is a little bit of both, but I, let's start with the oil market. Uh, when, the oil, when oil started to come down a year ago, people thought it was purely a supply issue. Right. I think we learned it is a demand issue, and that demand issue has shown us that there's slowdown throughout Europe and perhaps continue, there will be slowdown in the U.S. as well mm -hmm. once this tightening cycle starts. Now, now, a lot of people fundamentally have looked in their, their world as supply and demand people. You know, at the end of the day, you also have this thing called the dollar, which is, you know, a lot, a lot of assets settle in dollars. That's your business. You, you yes. do a lot of settlements in terms of FX trading. Now, so how, how do you think about that, the, the entry of the dollar into people's supply and demand models and where we're currently at on that debate? Well, the, the, the dollar, as you know, is the largest traded market in the world today. Over five trillion dollars a day goes to the FX Huge market. Liquidity. It is exactly twenty four hours a day from New Zealand's open to New York's close on Friday afternoon. It is the biggest market in the world. It helps facilitate trade. It helps facilitate monetary policy. In so, what case. are you seeing in that market right now? Well, we're we're seeing a continued appreciation in the dollar. Now, there was a setback last week with Mr. Draghi's uh, somewhat disappointing comments. Yeah, about, euro went up instead of went down. I, I think the market underestimates what Mr. Draghi is ready to do. Yeah. He has demonstrated throughout his time that he will do whatever it takes. He's come back and said it again. I think the dollar will resume its appreciation once this gets cleaned up. It's interesting. This morning, Novotny, you know, who's one of Draghi's yes. drones, if you want to call it that, central planning drones, I like to call them. I mean, he's basically puffing out his chest saying, well, we're not hostage to the market. You know, do you agree with that? Or is Mr. I, Draghi going to have something to say about that? No, I, 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 I do agree. I think the market got way ahead of itself. FT last Wednesday reported the great divergence. Everyone was in this trade. Too many people were in this trade. Short the euro. They were, exactly. Yeah. Looking for more than Mr. Draghi so was able to. There are a lot of stupid, smart people out well, there. <laughs> that's what it looks like. That's, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, it's a good that's title that's for that's this year, David. That, 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 so that what, what, what happens like. with the Fed? December 16th, next meeting. You think the Fed raises rates? And what does that mean for currencies? I think there's no question that the Fed has to raise rates. To not do so at this time would cause disruption in the market. Yep. The Fed's not prepared right. to do that. I think what we will see is that great divergence will continue and the dollar will resume its, uh, its appreciation sometime in the early part of next year. Interestingly, the dollar against the euro this year really hasn't gone very far. It's, it's been in a 10% range yep. since the beginning of the year. We're almost in the middle of that range this morning. Do you mm -hmm. think that we can be below par with, with I the absolutely euro do. in a year? I absolutely wow. do. I, I, I think that the the tightening of the Fed and the continued easing that will take place in Europe will allow the dollar to slowly appreciate. Mm. All right, we will leave it there. David, great insights from you. Thanks so much. Thanks. Great Appreciate to see you all. Appreciate it very much. Thanks. David Puth there.